Good morning and welcome to today's Zoo to You, brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the UFUN College Investing Plan. Hopefully you can hear me okay. My name is Jess and I'm an educator here at Franklin Park Zoo. And I'm coming to you live from the Tropical Forest Building where we are going to meet a very special animal today. So we are gonna meet one of the animals that I actually first discovered here myself at Franklin Park Zoo. I had never heard of it before and I am so excited to share it with all of you today. So I am going to turn my screen around here, sorry about that. And we are going to show you this amazing animal called a pado. So this habitat is a habitat you might not have seen before, kind of tucked away, hidden in tropical forest. And it is this red tinted color because this animal is nocturnal. Now the red light simulates that dark environment that they're used to, which is why we see our pado named Chaga moving all around the branches. The animal care staff just put some special enrichment into the habitat for Chaga. So he is moving along those branches, showing you those amazing adaptations he has to live high up in the trees to find some of his favorite foods. So the keeper told me that today he got some special foods of bugs, his favorite bugs and insects, which are mealworms, waxworms, and crickets. That's what he's doing, sticking his head inside of that enrichment item to pick out all of those bugs. Now the keeper also hung this log here with some holes in it where there is some mashed banana. So as soon as Chaga's done with those bugs, he might go over and try and eat some of that banana. I've heard those are his favorite foods. In the wild, these amazing animals will eat similar foods. They'll also eat snails. So that is one of the reasons that it's good that they're nocturnal, because then they can safely hunt for those slow moving snails without having to worry about predators during the day. Now this habitat is a great example of some of the amazing work we do to care for our animals here at Franklin Park Zoo because we make sure that <laughs> uh, they have that light cycle timing. So here, it, right now is nocturnal, so we get to see them moving around in the dark, but at night they'll actually turn the lights on so that they, it simulates daytime for them and then they'll sleep while all of us are sleeping. Now it's pretty funny to see him poking his head all the way inside and we also get to see a good look at his hands and how he uses them almost like clamps to really hold on tight to those branches. Their feet are positioned so that their thumb and the rest of their fingers are at a 180 degree angle so they can really wrap tightly around those branches. They actually have a special system inside their body that allows them to hang upside down like that and that their hands and feet don't get tired. So they're especially adapted to that life in the trees. Now these animals called the pado are also sometimes called softly softly. And that's because they are so sneaky and stealthy and move so quietly through the trees. They have two really important defense mechanisms to help protect themselves in the wild. One of them is that ability to move so quietly and softly through the trees. Another is to be really good at freeze dance so they can freeze completely solid in place and not move for hours on end so that they're really hard to spot in the trees. And then another really cool adaptation they have is actually a bony protrusion between their shoulder blades. So when they feel really threatened, they can lower their head and show that bony shoulder blade that's like a shield and could neck butt their um, 
predators if they need to. They do have a really strong bite as well because another one of their foods in the wild is gum from trees. So that is like hardened sap that comes from the trees. And they have that really strong jaw so they can crunch on that tree gum. Now we get a great look at how strong those back legs are. Chaga is uh, one of two pottos that we have here at Franklin Park Zoo. Chaga is 32 years old and just had a birthday in January. We do have a, another uh, potto behind the scenes. Her name is Joey. She is a little bit more shy and pottos are solitary, so they like to spend time alone. So she spends a lot of her time in a separate habitat behind the scenes. Now we're finally getting a good look. Now that his head is out of that coconut, we're getting a good look at how big his eyes are. So that is another adaptation that they have for being nocturnal. They have very large eyes. So they can see really well in the dark. Now, I was so excited to share this animal with you today because like I said, I had no idea that this animal even existed until I started working here at Franklin Park Zoo. And I think this is one of my favorite things about zoos is that you can discover so many new and exciting animals. And then once you find something new, you can learn a little bit more about it and share all those amazing facts with your family and friends. Now, pottos are considered least concern in the wild, which means their populations are doing pretty well. But there is a West African potto that is starting to become a little bit more endangered and threatened. And this is mostly due to habitat loss. So they really depend on those trees to survive. And with further development and destroying that habitat, they could become threatened and endangered in the future. So that's why it's so important to still have those animals here so we can spread the word about them and we can all work together to try and protect that habitat. Oh, I did see a comment. Someone said this is their favorite animal. That's great. I, this is now one of my newly favorite animals now that I've discovered them. So do I have any other questions for those who are watching live? I see a question of where did you find the animals? Well, this animal here at Franklin Park Zoo is at the Tropical Forest Building. So you should definitely come and find Chaga the Pato whenever you come visit. Um, but then also if you're talking about where Chaga came from, Chaga was born in zoos. So most of the animals that we have here were born in a zoo, either our zoo or other zoos. And many of them are part of really important breeding programs to make sure that we keep the population very healthy. It's one way that zoos work together to help protect all those different animals. Now it looks like Chaga's finally moving over to inspect his second enrichment item, that log full of banana. Now Chago will spend a lot of time getting all of that banana out of that log. So we are going to let him finish up his breakfast or lunch for the day. And I want to thank you all so much for joining us to discover this incredible animal. It was new for me, so maybe if it was new for you, you can uh, go home and uh, learn a little bit more about them or come visit Chago the Pato here at Franklin Park Zoo at the Tropical Forest Building. So I'd like to thank you so much for exploring with me today. My name is Jess from the education team, and today's Zoo to You was brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the UFUN College Investing Plan. Thanks for joining, and have a great day.